right, I'm still excited to find out what goes on with this festival and what's going on with this award ceremony. I'm excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover episode 69. <laughs> this one's called The Briar Maiden's Melancholy. Now, I'm almost positive that has to do with Charlotte, who is the captain of the blue roses charlotte rosalie so i'm excited to find out what happens because she is a very pretty woman who also has a crush on yami so we'll find out what happens there uh, asta was the one who noticed her i don't know what she's doing at this festival but it would make sense that a lot of magic knights are there due to it also being an award for them and recognizing the best new squad not new squads but the top ranked squads and stuff like that so without any further ado i say we stop wasting time let's hop right on into this i am way too pumped Remember, if you guys want early access and full link to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead over on Patreon. The links for that are in the description. And like always, if you guys want to support me and Patreon, it's not really your thing. If you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post. And don't forget to follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter. And then we also have a P.O. box if you guys ever want to send me any art mail anything like that anything and everything is much appreciated info for everything is always in the description let's get right on into this black clover episode 69 the briar maiden's melancholy let's do this <laughs> finroll would absolutely love her That's Baron Balmain from Bamilton. Yeah, you're gonna try to tell me that's not Charlotte? Look at that. <laughs> oh, yup, there's my girl, Sol! Third class intermediate magic knight. I know, talk about a woman. Yes, actually. I know. Come on. Who do you think you are? This is 2021. <laughs> yeah, Asta's actually... <laughs> She's literally- I know, so you're picking him up by the back of his shirt. Oh god. Charmy's probably munching. Everyone's having a good time though, that's good. I'm surprised to see Grey in her normal skin all the time. I really enjoy it. Oh, candied apples. Ooh, those things are so good. By being able to enjoy a different environment than we ordinarily experience in our lives, our bonds, our bonds become even stronger. It's such a special day. An unforgettable page in our book of memories, and no one even listens to my man at all. Asta was right. Finroll does love her. I'm not the biggest fan of bigger, wide type dresses, but it looks very nice on her. Especially not him as he walks over here. The fucking man, the myth, the legend. Yami the fisherman. Oh, I didn't even notice the, the kitten. The red thread cat is with us all the time. That's so cute. What's going on now? You got a cat fight? Why does this happen with women out of nowhere? When did this go from 0 to 60 so quick? We're just having a good time, guys. Soul is quite the instigator. He does this all the time. Oh, 
ふざけるな何負けるのは怖いの殺せない服なんてこの世にないんだからな So we're actually gonna have a cosplay contest? It's been a minute since I've seen these guys. Huh. To think where we started, literally, it feels so long ago to where we are now was crazy. The Golden Dawn. So it's really cool seeing Mimosa Klaus and you know here, but this is so just nonsensical. That we're having a cosplay. Woo! Kinda like the witch outfit. The cosplay she chose is Oh wow. She looks like she looks like Sister Lily. I mean, there is something that say, yeah. Right? So the less you expose, the more you leave up to mystery and the more sexy you actually look, you know? <laughs> look at Asta. That's just because you like Sister Lily. <laughs> They're having like little magic votes <laughs> and it fills up the little love bottle The same amount of points. It's a draw <laughs> I kind of like this <laughs> Oh. You gotta do what you gotta do. Vanessa, I think we'll win this one. I tell you, Soul is an instigator. I need some of that beer if it gets you like that. Or maybe she's just such a lightweight. This was not what I was expecting for this episode at all. Is this real? You're on the house, Rosalie. Happy within a cage of time. This looks like a weird, like, she looks like she could be a real witch, you know? So that became her motivation for getting stronger in the Magic Knights and all that. Man, yeah, she is gorgeous. But she probably had men proposing left and right, you know? But no. What is this curse, though? I'm so curious. You need to be able to have some some baggage with her, so. So she needs a strong man. Maybe that's why she likes Yami. <laughs> Yami is a very strong man. That's why she loves her independence, because she she doesn't need a man to help her with this. She'll come. So this is the curse. The briar vines are going everywhere, all over House Rosalie. What is this curse? Where did it come from? I need all I need all the info. Let me guess. Let me guess who might come in chopping and saving the day. Who saves the day of literally every character in the show? I swear to God, there's been seven characters who have been saved by this man at this point. No wonder everybody loves this dude. That's kind of a bar, I won't lie. Especially to come in. Really? <laughs> Lucky for us. 
I definitely need to know more about the curse just because uh, they tend to do this thing in Black Clover where they'll show you like an outline of a character, but that person will actually play a significant role at a certain point, you know? They're, they're very good. Naruto does that a lot as well, you know? So I want to know about the witch who... I don't know if he, even if it was a witch, but somebody gave this curse. Something about time. It, on her 18th birthday. Something around there. And it's crazy. And then it took a... Your heart being stolen by a man, which I love the way Yami did that, you know. It's like, I love a tough girl, but it doesn't hurt to ask for help every now and then, you know. <gasps> you know, come on. He, he can't sound any more badass than that, you know. He's such a barbarian, so aggravating. And yet... And, okay, relax there, Charlotte. Good, that's what I can't wait for. Oh, excuse me, guys, I just sneezed. Wait, I know the purple orcas had to get one because what's-his-name was, was a fucking fuck, but the new captain of the Crimson Lions, my boy Fuegi? What's going on with Fogolian? Alright, that was a fun episode, but I, I gotta watch this next one, like, right now. So that was a fun episode that gave us some good backstory on Charlotte. Also, just literally tells me that if someone in this kingdom has an issue that they're going through mentally, physically, at some point or another, Yami is going to save them, sound badass, and then they're going to have a much better life progressing forward. Because <laughs> that's happened probably 15 times by now, I'm not even joking. This man Yami is something else, but I, I really enjoyed um, the reasoning as to why she has this, this, this vow, not vow, but this sense that she needs a very strong man and that normal men are she's filled with just weak men around her because you know she's had this drive to be super strong since the very beginning since she was a child and her parents were distraught over that curse and then just seeing the amount of weakness around you since you've been ahead of the game that long you know and especially of the gender classes and the gender roles that are supposed to be assigned if you're a girl and you only are seeing these weak ass men you know constantly like i'd be like get out of here too but i need me come on and um i like the reasoning behind that what she said i need a strong man who can bear the brunt of this curse you guys aren't stronger than me you're not strong enough to defeat this curse i'm not strong enough to defeat this curse so i like that and then yami baddest motherfucker out here you know what i'm saying cosplay contest i like it Drinking contest, these are a little weak, you know. They they, they could have drank a little more, but it's all good. It's all good. I don't I don't I don't expect them to be able to hold their liquor. Um, I need to figure out what's going on with this announcement ceremony. I need to figure out the new um, captain. It was good seeing Klaus, you know, and Mimosa again. Uh, I'm sure they showed us them just because we're gonna see them. We're gonna see all the squads next episode, so that's gonna be lit. I love seeing all the squads. But who was the purple Gweldre? Gweldre was the guy who was arrested for working with the um, Eye of the Midnight Sun. So we have to figure out what's going on with him. And then my boy Fuegolian and Leopold. My boy Fuegi still in the hospital, I think. So we need a new, hopefully interim, temporary captain of the Crimson Lions. Hopefully but, but before my boy comes back. But it'd be great to see Leopold again and all the other members. I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you did enjoy this, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm going to hop into this next episode. I'll catch you guys in this one. If you guys don't want to wait, check out that Patreon, early access, full length, all that jazz. Don't forget to follow me on all the social medias. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, Dapper Squad.